Hi, everyone. You also have to dream about your revolution, not just build it. This world of Pierre Boulez have driven us buffet crampon uh, when considering it to apply to the clarinet to two main questions. The first question is, what is the dream of the clarinet player of the 21st century in terms of acoustic, in terms of playability, or in terms of instrument design? The second question is, uh, what can we do, Buffet Crampon, to make this dream come true? And does it mean a revolution for, for the clarinet? These two questions will be the subject of our today streaming live from Mont Factory, right in the middle of where we are creating these instruments, these wonderful instruments. And I'm very happy and very pleased to experience these uh, answers with you and with a very uh, active uh, support and contribution of a high number of musicians who have made a big effort to come uh, from so many countries. To come here in Mont, in the Mont factory, uh, the heart of Buffet Crampon, but also in our different locations in the world, in Tokyo, in Beijing, and in Jacksonville in the US. They, these musicians will uh, have just tried the instrument and they will give us their feedback very soon. I want to thank them very warmly for being with us today. I also want to thank those who have directly contributed to this uh, revolution. As you know, in Buffet Crampon, we are relying on a dream team of testers. Michel Arignon, Paul Meyer, Nicolas Balderou, and Eric Barré, who are the head of the development for all our new instruments and with high success with the, Tos the Tosca, the Divine, the Legion, and more recently, the Gala. But this time, due to the high ambition of the project, we have decided to complete this dream team by the team of the dream and by adding the highly valuable contribution of Martin Frost, who, of course, everybody knows, and who has joined us at the beginning of the story 3.5 years ago. The initial idea of Martin and the team was to explore new acoustic territories and to try to set up new standards, a new paradigm for the clarinet of the 21st century, trying to un give answers to all expectations. This ambition was very high, and I want to say that today the result is over overcoming our expectation. It's absolutely a great success. And that is what we are going to experience with you today. And to go further in this experience, I would uh, leave you now in the experience of Grégory de Mailly, who is a group product specialist for the entire range of clarinet for Buffet Crampon. It's true. It is a very special launch uh, today. Actually, today is a day we have been looking forward to for more than three and a half years, maybe four, if we consider the birth of the idea. And every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And Buffet Crampon has been very fortunate to introduce a few of these in the clarinet industry. In our history, we have had a couple of great figures who have moved the line of handmaking uh, a clarinet. They all put their breakthrough ideas in the design of a sound or just a key mechanism, but their characters were already and always supported by a close and a true partnership with great musicians. For example, in the 19th century, we had Louis-Auguste Buffet and Yassine Closet we are maybe uh, the first to mastermind an incredible acoustic and mechanical revolution. As examples, the adaptation of the mobile rings made by Bum on the flute, and also and above all being the ones who invented the famous sound signature of our instrument uh, that we call today the polycylindrical bore design. Later, we had uh, Robert Carré and Jacques Lancelot, who have amplified this movement of our history with the R13, the BC20, and the RC clarinets. 
And as a result, uh, those models still remain the masterpieces of our product development strategy. More recently, in 2004, the Tosca clarinet came onto the global market, turning upside down the traditional codes with an iconic keywork and a very typical sound, as well as giving a uh, direction to follow uh, by our, our competitors all over the world. A bit earlier, in uh, 1998, maybe something that is our pretty strongest pride at Buffet Crampon, the Green Line material. It is a, ma a material that came up from a demanding brief, actually a brief made of uh, ecological goals and aiming the frightening crack issue feared by all clarinetists and oboists. But today, altogether, wherever we are sitting uh, in the world, we want to initiate the 21st century's revolution in thinking, as you said, uh, Jérôme, what is a dream clarinet? What is a clarinet without its specific uh, weaknesses, uh, very well known by all clarinetists? Our team here has dreamed it for so long and now they cannot wait to tell what they feel about it. I'm going to reveal the new instrument in a few seconds, but before, please, just relax and imagine. A new acoustic balance that gives unbelievable uh, opportunities in creating new colors and new dynamics. A clarinet with a wider low register, full of sound, rich and warm. A clarinet with a high register, stable, right in tune and secure as ever. And finally, a batch of new features that will allow you to revisit the clarinet repertoire and create more. I think it's enough suspense for today. Here is the new Buffet Crampon clarinet, BC21. Hello Martin, hello Nicolas, hello Michel. Uh, unfortunately, Paul cannot be with us today, but uh, he has a special message. Dear friends, dear colleagues, today is a very important day uh, for us in the climate world. Uh, unfortunately, I am not here with you in Mantes at the Buffet Crampon factory. Uh, because I am in Japan in quarantine uh, before uh, my new concerts. Uh, the launch of this instrument is very important for us as it has been a long way uh, to prepare it. Uh, this instrument is very uh, particular and I hope you will have as much fun as we have to play on it. See you soon. Thank you very much. I'm so happy and impressed to be with you today for the special day for uh, the presentation of uh, our new uh, BC21 B flat clarinet. And uh, Martin, I have a question. Uh, if you have to describe uh, the sound overall uh, of this new BC21 compared to the uh, uh, regular clarinets, how do you, how do you describe it? Oh, it's a big question. I, I think what, I mean, first of all, I played on so many uh, buffet clarinets before and they were, of course, all fantastic and has all these, which is so uh, particular for, for, for buffet clarinets. Uh, what this, if you should compare it, I would say this clarinet has all these. It has the, 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 the timbre and the ping and the all that you can lean on, trust, but it has something more, I think. And that, if I try to describe it, it would be more, if I play on this clarinet, for example, in, on the recording for a whole day, the, the way that I play would develop through the day, I think. Because this clarinet has something that you can always discover and develop in, which I like. It's like a, a very good uh, 
uh, violin, like a Stradivarius. If, if you play on a Stradivarius and you are not used to it, you will find things in it during the time that you are playing. And I think that opened up doors for the future in these kind of uh, ways. So the, the, the challenging thing for Buffet has always been because you want, we want to please everyone. We want to do clarinets that everyone thinks, ah, this is a great clarinet. And of course, this is a fantastic clarinet, but it also has a something that it wants to collaborate with you and it wants to, to it demands something for you as well. And that, I think, is a good way of thinking from Buffet's side. So it's like, you know, if you, if you compare it to a relation or, or when you stand in front of an orchestra, for example, you always should listen to the orchestra and try to learn something before you open your mouth and, and say something. And this is exactly the same. I play this kind of, oh, wow, I feel that I can learn something from this. And, and that's a great feeling. And it's really a feeling that I, I it's, it's a sort of exciting the way that you can develop with this instrument. And uh, maybe you could see on the on the camera we have uh, uh, Nicola. A few years ago, you you are speaking together. Uh, you had asked me to develop the clarinet with the low E flat, and maybe how uh, you could see uh, on the camera the clarinet has a long uh, E flat uh, one additional note. Mm -hmm. Could you speak about this? Yeah, I mean, it was a very special demand for, for me because uh, in, our, in our repertoire, we have so many pieces with the low E flat. I mean, in orchestra, of course, when you play Mahler symphonies or Wagner, you have some low E flats. Uh, when you play concertos, like if you play the Busoni uh, concertino, I mean, uh, we have the low E flat. When you want to play contemporary pieces, when you play the Berio Sequenza, for example, you have the low E flat. So there's so many, uh, there was so, so much frustration uh, about that. And uh, also, uh, I like to transpose a lot inside the orchestra. I like to keep my B flat just to be warm and to be absolutely in tune. And sometimes, of course, when you have some low E with the A clarinet, you were, I mean, you couldn't play the notes. So with this one, it will be a real big change for people playing uh, in orchestra wanting to, to transpose. And we discover something new, because with this uh, fingering of the E flat, low E flat, if you use the register key, Michel, you could have a wonderful B flat too. And uh, you explain if to play, for example, the beginning of uh, the Rhapsody of Debussy, you could immediately use this, this uh, fingering. I think. Uh, when you play the, this uh, B flat with the uh, E flat uh, fingering, you are already on the clairon. I mean, you are uh, more close of the B, yeah. natural yes. B. You are much more close, so the, the, the legato is uh, much more e e easy. So C, Do, it's, it's easier. You don't, have a, you don't have to play so C, Do. You know, for it's more natural. More, more natural, yeah. And also, um, the sound is uh, very rich, very rich. Uh, even uh, when you play the Bambri, so, so, you know, it's very difficult to play this <laughs> in a stupid mode. And uh, it's a much you, more you mean we we could use very easily this yes. finger, new fingering for the B flat too? Yes, I, I, I think um, maybe it needs a little uh, accommodation uh, adaptation adaptation way to practice a little because the the fingering are di different if you play uh, faster. Mm -hmm. And of course, to have uh, one additional note. The clarinet is longer compared to the regular clarinet, B flat clarinet, I mean. But on the new BC21, the weight of the instrument is lighter. Uh, maybe you notice too, the, the, because the bell is shorter. And we have one centimeter less compared to the regular bell. And do you feel, for example, Martin, do you feel a difference when you, when you play? Uh, this instrument is 20 grams less. The, uh, the weight is 
uh, 20 grams less compared to the Tosca or Legend. Yeah, just to, to add uh, what Michel was talking about, I think, because you start to talk about the bell now as well. I think it's uh, in this so great direction of, of adding fingerings for colors. I, I remember when I was studying, I, you always experiment with, with, with fingerings for colors. And I, I read, I think it was from, from Berman, when, when they spoke about different fingerings, they said always, in this time, they said always, I have lots of different fingering, but never for the technique, only for the, for the colors, you mm -hmm. know? And, and now we have even more possibilities, which I think is fantastic. But what Michel said that you could, of course, you can use this B flat because you really like it and it's rich and so on. But you have at least three possibilities for the B flat now: these, these, and these. So you can choose for different music, different uh, type of, of fingerings for the colors. And uh, of course, when when we think about the bells, it's the same thing. Now we have a bell that is basically only for the sound. Because you can actually, you can literally take the bell off and still play uh, as normal, and it won't change the intonation as absolutely um, uh, not as much as the, the the previous clarinets has. So we have also possibilities here. We can change bell. We can change the sound uh, timbre of the clarinet easily. Um, and about the weight, what you said. I'm not sure if you can feel the, the, the little, uh, the but but it's definitely runs, not. Yes. It looks big, but it's it doesn't feel heavy. But definitely. for the most of clarinetists, it was important that clarinet not, was not too exactly. heavy. Exactly, and it's not. It's, it's actually not easier. It's it's it, it, it's lighter. Yeah. And I would like to to speak about the the major characteristic characteristic of this new BC21, but you cannot see the. The difference, because the difference is the ball inside, especially on the lower joint. We are working and design a very cylindrical ball inside without uh, any conicity. And this changes the resonance of the instrument. I mean, overall, not only on, on the low notes. Maybe Nicola, you you could speak uh, yeah, and I mean, explain this. Yeah, it's a very important aspect of uh, this clarinet. We already made a lot of researches uh, about that on the legend, but we we uh, we went even further with this clarinet, of course, with its uh, longer uh, lower joint. And uh, when I play this clarinet, as you said, you feel a very special resonance. You feel that the focus is coming immediately. I mean, you don't have to force. I mean, it's just coming, if you are just uh, blowing smoothly, then it just sounds. And the projection is amazing, uh, thanks to this um, lower joint. And when I played, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of the Bassett clarinet. Uh, Martin plays a lot, of course. And, uh, and also uh, of the German clarinet, I mean, which is also very cylindrical. And we made also a lot of uh, researches about, uh, about the German clarinet. And it, um, it brings such a wonderful uh, homogeneity, and that's exactly what we uh, expected from this clarinet. I mean, something very equal, very focused, and very uh, homogeneous. And the question of the most of clarinetis is, has this longer, maybe it's a little bit more resistant, I mean, more difficult to blow. But could you speak about this sensation when you are playing on BC21? Do you feel some resistance uh, to blow, or is it easy to blow? I mean, as Martin said, you, you get used to. I mean, it's just difference. So, so the way of blowing is a little bit different. The focus is coming in a different way. Uh, so when you play it all day, I mean, you just adapt your, your playing, and then you discover many, many more things, and it's becoming absolutely natural. So I don't feel at all any resistance. I mean, it's just another concept and another, another aesthetic. And, uh, Nicolas, uh, did, did you play uh, at the orchestra? Yeah, I did uh, play one full week in the orchestra. Okay. And it was such a treat. I mean, it was amazing. I, I didn't have to put a lot of energy. And the sound was so uh, well projected okay. in the room. Okay. And all of my, all my colleagues just lost it. Oh, something is different. It's very nice. <laughs> but uh, what is it? And then they saw the lower joint and they said, well, what's that? And uh, now it's really comfortable. I mean, uh, I feel very great result with maybe a little bit less energy when you yes. when you play. Yes. Thank you. 
Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, if you speak about resistance, maybe you should speak about density, because that's also what, what Nicola means, that you, if, if you have a problem to sort of collect the sound all the time, that's, that's, that demands so much effort from you as a player. And this clarinet, it makes this focus like a great opera singer immediately, and you don't have to, to you can trust it in that way. Uh, and that's a fantastic development, I think. And we keep the spirit of the buffet sound, but with some, something very different. Mm -hmm. And this is a really a new innovation, because I think all the clarinetists we will test uh, today, and we we'll try, we'll feel the difference immediately, mm -hmm. compared to uh, the other models. That's very important. Because you are playing, Nicola, on the, on the legend, uh, Martin, you are playing on the legend. Michel, you are playing on the tradition. But, I mean, this is a new concept of sound. And uh, do you think you could change now for, for this kind of uh, uh, new model BC21, Martin? If I could change from legend to... Yes. It, absolutely. Yeah. No, no, it's... it's uh, as... As we already said, I mean, we play, of course, differently. Every clarinet player yes. is a unique, and and what I feel with these, as I said in the beginning, if you if you listen to clarinet player, if they change the instrument, they probably get a a little bit of yes. Now it's different, but in after uh, two months, they will <laughs> they will sound about yes. the same, you know. But with this clarinet, it's so many things that for just take the B B flat, as as uh, Michelle was talking about. The B flat is quite an important note, and it's, it's a, maybe the most problematic note on the clarinet. And now suddenly you have a different note. So of course the Brahms sonatas, both of them, will sound totally different. You will never doubt that this is a B a C21 when you hear the Brahms sonatas. And I immediately said, ah, I have to record them again, of course, because I have this clarinet. And there's so many pieces that you, you want to, de um, to rediscover again with this instrument. You want to, ah, I want to go with this repertoire again, I wanted to do this, mm. of course, because it's, it's a different, you have to treat it in a different way, like, and, and I think, therefore, it's full of excitement. If it takes a little bit of time, yes, absolutely, I, I have this clarinet for a few days, of course, it's, it's still a wow feeling, and when, when you have learned it, it's like Nicola said, you can really trust the sound to be full of density immediately, and you just have to, uh, and the projection is unbelievable good. And uh, for me, which is very important, it remains a um, buffet sound tradition. Yeah. You know, it's different, but you can listen. Totally. It's buffet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I like very much that. Yes, now uh, Paul wants to uh, make some comments uh, on the new uh, BC21. Uh, dear friends, I'm very happy uh, to share these uh, comments on this uh, new clarinet. One of the specific aspects of this instrument is the length of the lower joint. As you know, perhaps already, we have an E flat, a, an extra note on the bottom of the clarinet. This changes everything, actually, in the way that it, this instrument will be played. Instead of having the last note coming out from the bell, it comes from the hole here. And this is, a, I would say, a revolution. It helps very much uh, the fluidity of the instrument. There is uh, more facility in the staccato, in the articulation of the instrument, uh, because the, the air is, uh, goes, flows more naturally um, in the uh, instrument. On the upper register, when you action the, this key, which is the 12th uh, uh, keys, some people call it the octava keys, uh, it's the same process. Uh, we have a, a better uh, fluidity than before because, uh, again, the, uh, the, the low of the, the bottom of the, of the instrument doesn't open like this, but it stays more focused. And this is really fun to play. You will notice it automatically when you try it. Thank you very much.
uh, I think it's the next street now it's our uh, uh, friends, uh, Clanetis friends could test it and to have uh, their uh, own opinion about it. But thank you very much for your collaboration and for uh, this uh, wonderful time together. Thank you, thank you, you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Now I would like to introduce uh, our subsidiaries in uh, Japan, uh, USA and uh, China. Uh, there we have some French clanetists uh, over there and we are waiting for their feedback about the new uh, BC21 and hope they are happy to be there with us. Hello from Beijing. Um, I just had a great opportunity to try this new BC21. I loved it and it's longer, but at the same weight as the other you know, buffet clarinet like Legend and uh, Tosca, uh, the intonation is so beautiful. And also the keys here rised up, it's easier for the trio and for the intonation. And uh, good work, my colleagues in, in, in Paris. It's, it's really beautiful, the instruments. I feel the, the lower body is a little bit longer more than other instruments. But it's uh, not heavy, it's, uh, it's light. It has very good uh, intonation, uh, low register, and uh, it's better sound, as uh, beautiful uh, tone. The first impression of the BC-21 is very beautiful, and uh, it has a longer lower joint and a carbon fiber ring. The vibration of the instrument it's very good. The sound is very relaxed. The tone is great. The pitch of C sharp and G sharp is outstanding. Hello, uh, I just uh, picked up this new buffet. The most notable difference is the addition of the E flat key. So you can actually play down to low E flat, which is quite useful sometimes if you're going to play uh, music for A clarinet on B flat, which sometimes we have to do. And then in addition to the low E flat, we then have a alternate fingering for B flat. So it's, it's quite nice. And also I find with the extended length of the lower joint that the instrument has more resonance in the lower register. Um, and I find that the intonation tends to be a little better uh, the low F and low E do not need a correction key, and uh, the intonation is not flat. Uh, when I heard this instrument first time, I noticed uh, uh, this instrument uh, have a longer lower joint, uh, but it is not very heavy at all. I noticed uh, they just uh, raised the tone hole, the C and the C sharp. Uh, it just uh, make this uh, three tone hole. Uh, uh, into one line, so uh, I think this is more uh, easier to play uh, and make my uh, f uh, finger moving a little faster than before. This part is a very good idea. This 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 is a very good idea. もっと早くこのあのあれはあって良いね良かったんじゃないかなと思いました。あとあの細かい設計のことはわからないんですけれども、きっとあのここをこう立ち上げたことによってきっとこのあのなんだろう経営が変わったのかな。やっぱ大人
どうやってこの楽器を自分のものにするか自分の彼女にしていくかっていうその、えー、今まで会ったことのない何て言えばいいんだろう新しい市場で新しい食材を見つけてどうやってこの,この食材で料理作ってやろうかなと思うようなあので素材としてはとってもいいものだし。第一印象は非常に軽いというあの印象ですでやっぱり見てみるとーカーボファイバーを使ってる接合部分を使ってるということで、えー、その影響もあって非常に軽いという印象ですこの一番低い S ですねこ,のこれが非常に興味深くそれで実際演奏してみたんですけど本当になんかアーカイよりよくなるなって感じで、えー読み替えればアーカーは必要ないのかなっていう思いだのとやっぱりクラネットってどちらかというと上の音域って感高くなりやすいんですけどそれを感じないんですねすごくしとやかなあの響きがあってあと左手すごいこう構えやすいんですよねこの煙突があるおかげなんでしょうかで左手ってどうしてもこう難しいパッセージが多いんですけどこれがあることによってまっすぐ構えられるからそれもこう左手の動きの安定につながってるんでしょうか Right now with, with this instrument I feel that when I go from C to D it's just like a it's really easy to play like I don't, I don't have to adjust anything usually、um, on, on the clarinet、uh, I need to control a lot when I go from, from C to D I need to really voice Because usually the D seems to be a little bit, you know, spreading or kind of wild sounding. On this instrument, it's just nice and I noticed, yeah, the, the left handed chimney for sure,、um, being, being on the same plane, I noticed that. So the added low E flat、uh, key is、um, a useful thing、uh, for transposition if there's some A clarinet literature、um, that you want to play、um, in the orchestra, for instance. Um, you'll be able to, to do that with the added low E flat. It immediately made me feel slightly like heading towards a basset clarinet sound.、Um, especially at the low end,、um, it really has this rich resonance that, again, is still very much what we're used to at, at the bottom of a, a buffet clarinet. But with just a little bit more basset clarinet sort of sound. And, and even throughout the entire range of the instrument,、um, you get a little bit more of that sort of resonance um, um, throughout all the, the other notes in, in the clarinet. I, mean, I think that the, the overtones, especially in you know, the upper, upper register, are very balanced.、Um, and I think that it's an important、um, it's, it's definitely lighter,、um, probably because of the carbon fiber. Rings. Um, um, the gold posts are beautiful.、Um, it's got a plateau key here on the fourth finger, which is a little bit、um, different, and、um, an extra key, which was pretty cool. <laughs> Having this long B flat as an option for another fingering. allows one of the most daunting passages for intonation and sound to be possible. When I first saw this instrument sitting over there, I、uh, thought, wow, that's some beautiful key work with the rose gold posts. And then inside, I thought, oh, it's going to be heavier. And I picked it up, and it, I was shocked it was lighter.
Merci Michel. Thank you Nicolas. Thank you. Sorry, I'm tellement ému par ce moment. Merci Martine. And now I would like to to speak with uh, Romain, Carlos, Nuno, et Nuno about the new Buffet Campon Clarinet the BC 21. You comment, guys. Donc, euh, bah, bonjour tout le monde. Magnifique instrument, un nouvel instrument, bah, super euh, belle découverte aujourd'hui, euh, belle surprise. Euh, donc un instrument euh, bah, super euh, beau déjà à regarder, hyper bien fabriqué, on sent la, vraiment la qualité euh, depuis des années, le soin apporté au moindre détail chez Buffet. Et puis euh, oui, des nouveautés. Euh, des nouveautés, donc euh, l'addition d'un mi bémol grave, euh, d'une perce euh, cylindrique, donc sans, sans évasement ou avec moins d'évasement en tout cas que les clarinettes précédentes chez Buffet, et l'addition aussi d'une cheminée là sur le, le, le troisième doigt, donc comme ça des, des, des innovations euh, et qui donne euh, donc une facilité à l'instrument, euh, un instrument quand on le souffle la première fois très séduisant, une, une sonorité facile. Euh, qui est euh, centré, focus, et très très riche, vraiment très très riche comme sonorité dans, dans tous les registres, euh, spécialement le registre grave que j'aime beaucoup parce que ça donne un grave très brillant. Voilà donc euh, une première impression euh, très positive, une première impression d'une de, de, clarinette euh, qui euh, a beaucoup de personnalité. Thank you, Roland. Voilà. Maybe <rire> Nuno one ou Nuno two. The comments, guys. I, I agree with everything Roma said. I think it's a great clarinet. Was a great impression immediately. Um, I think it has a great balance uh, between the resistance that offers and the projection of sound. And I feel that I can blow all the air that I want, and the sound never opens. And very in tune, all the registers. So it's a great revolution. Thank and you. Now, Nini, no, no, two. Please, Pinto. Yeah. So, for me, it was a very good surprise. Um, above all, uh, Roma described everything, uh, and Nuno talked about the sound. For me, the, the most impressive, it was the, the conception, a new conception of sound, a new conception of the clarinet. So, the, the attempt to, to look forward and to look to the future, That's why we have this name 21. Maybe this is the beginning of something new for the clarinet. And maybe a revolution. You know? Maybe a, maybe a revolution. Why not? Yeah. A revolution, Carlos. What do you think about? Oui, c'est uh, c'est une révolution. C'est un instrument extraordinaire, très très belle. Et la sonorité c'est très c'est focus. C'est très et our resistor is so 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 nice. It's a complete revolution in the instrument. Okay. Um, uh, it's a, a new clarinet, it's a, a 21 clarinet. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Come on, come on, in the factory, we have a lot of uh, clarinet players today. And now uh, Jean-Luc, uh, Anne, Andrea, uh, Eddie, you comment, guys. Maybe short comments because yes, we are 100, 1000 characters in the factory. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, I'm very happy to be here to taste uh, this new clarinet and um, my comment is very simple. Uh, it's a really true new way for uh, Buffet Crampon to do this clarinet because it's an uh, amazing difference be between all of precedent clarinet and uh, this is a very good, uh, very good clarinet, very beautiful sound, very harm, very hot and uh, Very happy to, to have the honor to play it Thank today. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm Han. <laughs> it's, it was, it's such an honor for me to be able to play this instrument before the launch and like just to try it out. Uh, the biggest impression for me is it's so homogeneous and the, I love the sound quality and it feels a bit different, but I'm sure it will be amazing once I get used to it. So, and in Korean, Maybe? Yes, in Korea, in uh, family, yeah. 
어, 부패 피란풍에서 새로운 클라리넷을 론칭을 했는데요. 제가 어, 한국 사람으로서는 최초로 네, 이 클라리넷을 해보게 됐는데 어, 너무 좋고 어, 새로운 클라리넷의 네, <웃음> 새로운 <웃음> 발견인 것 같아요. 그래서 그 네, 테스트해보게 돼서 너무 영광입니다. Thank you. <웃음> And now from Korea to Italy. Un saluto a tutti gli amici italiani. Per me è un piacere essere oggi qui a Parigi e provare questo nuovo modello. È veramente una rivoluzione. Una... Quello che ho notato, la prima impressione, è stata una facilità, compattezza del suono e anche la diteggiatura, qualcosa che è molto naturale. E la... quello che mi ha impressionato di più è la, la resonanza, qualcosa di molto spontaneo che proietta il suono molto bene, quindi... E viva Italia! Forza Italia! Forza sempre. Italia! Edi, some words! Well, very short. Um, when, uh, when I got the instrument, you, uh, I saw immediately that, of course, it is different. It, is in, it has some extra keys, it has... Um, it's a bit longer. The moment that, you, that I started to play on it, I felt the difference. Um, I felt the difference, I had to adapt to the instrument, but after a few minutes, I, um, I loved it. And I, had, I even had problem to go back to my clarinet, to my proper clarinet, because it gives such more, such more possibilities. So, thank you, Buffet Grand Pont, and uh, congratulations with the, with the work. Maybe een kort woord in het Nederland. Ik heb, um, als ik het instrument in mijn handen kreeg, dan, dan viel het onmiddellijk op dat het inderdaad langer is zijn bijkomende kleppen. Aanvankelijk was het um, aanpassen. Uh, ik moest mij aanpassen om er inderdaad op te spelen. De pers van het onderstuk is, is anders, is een cilindrisch. En dat geeft een ander, een, ander, uh, een ander beeld. Maar het moment dat je inderdaad het gewoon bent, dat je het na 15, 20 minuten heb je zelfs problemen om terug te komen naar je oude instrument. Bravo, dank u wel, Buffet Grand Prix. Dank u wel, Eddy. Kom aan, guys. Kom aan, guys. En nu, onze vrienden, Hector, Angelo, Kevin en Victor. Wat is uw comment ook met de nieuwe instrumenten? Wel, dank u wel, Buffet, voor de invitatie. Ik ben heel blij om hier te zijn. Mijn eerste impressie is een goed instrument, een goed sound. Uh, but I re realize it's really well, it's really equal, and I really like that. And I think this uh, low E flat uh, key is gonna help us, especially for the for the orchestral repertoire. So I'm really happy uh, to be here trying this clarinet, and thanks to Buffet for the invitation. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, for me, the the most important thing that I, I remark in this clarinet is the the density, and the um, the homogeneity of this sound. And uh, but especially the focus, the focus of sound is um, really um, perfect for my way to to, to think the sound. And uh, and the other one, the other thing is uh, the facility to 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 make the sound. Really, I I, I had to feel uh, very comfortable, very relaxed, and that was amazing because it was very easy to play this instrument. So grazie, I, I grazie, like it. <laughs> Kevin Hello. Victor. So I'm really happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. What I like about this clarinet is that, uh, as uh, Angelo just said, it's really homogeneous and uh, you can do a lot with the sound. Uh, the focus is incredible and uh, you can use it in orchestra and as well as soloists and in chamber groups. I mean, you can really reach out all the public in the hall because with uh, not a lot of um, I would say effort and energy, you can already get to the last row of the hall. So, good work and thank you. Okay, the last one. Okay, so the first impression I had is that this is a very easy instrument to play. And also, it has a very bright uh, sound, a very bright color. It has a very colorful sound, which I think opens a whole lot of possibilities, you know? And this being a longer instrument, it's impressive how it's easier to play than than some of the other models. So uh, yeah, it's been it's been a good um, a good surprise. I was I wasn't expecting this different sound. This this was very very surprising at first, 
Um, so yeah, I think I think it's a very very nice instrument and some words in Portuguese. Um, é definitivamente um instrumento que eu acho que vale a pena uh, vale a pena experimentar porque realmente oferece muitas possibilidades desde desde a questão do mi bemol grave até todo o jogo mecânico e todos os pequenos problemas que nós clarinetistas temos de afinação neste clarinete estão muito melhor conseguidos portanto existe uma, uma, uma grande resolução desses desses problemas aconselho vivamente Merci. Let's go, let's go. And now, other cards is player around. Joan, Herman, Sebastian, and Valentin. Some words? Short word, because we have a lot of cards player after you. Sure. Listen, I only played for a little while with this instrument, but. When I started playing it, it felt like butter. It felt so smooth, the legato was great. And what I want now is to have more time to explore it because it has got a lot of possibilities, this instrument. It's, uh, it has a deepness that is new and very, very interesting. So um, now for my friends in Spain, I will say, tenéis que, pro que probar este instrumento porque es increíble. Hermano. Yes, thank you. Uh, I really like this. It, was, it takes a little while when you start to play it that, to get used to it, but it gets pretty fast. And what I like, obviously, you have these possibilities with the extra key, but the length and the, the thing you don't see, the bore, I think that's the, the key. I mean, that's, that's a really development that makes colors that is special for for I mean still a buffet you feel at home really yes. but feel at home is it? yeah German sound but a little bit maybe good German sound and uh, and you know it's uh, it's really, congratulations to the company I think it's really right direction of the development so. thank you thank you for the luthier and the artist Sébastien Valentin en français tous les deux oui. pour finir alors je ben, je suis toujours curieux d'essayer de nouvelles choses Et euh, je trouve que là, de ce point de vue-là, je n'ai pas été surpris, euh, étant donné que nous avons donc une nouvelle note, mi bémol grave, ça c'est quand même un, un, une surprise. Euh, J'ai trouvé, euh, ma première sensation, c'est que dans le grave, on sent qu'il y a un changement au niveau de la, de la perce quand même. Hein, donc au niveau du, du, mi, du, du fa et du mi, euh, euh, je retrouve un peu les sensations qu'on peut avoir hein, quand on joue sur une clarinette de basset, par exemple. Un petit peu, on voit que la clarinette est un peu plus longue. Donc ça donne une chaleur dans le son et une, une sensation différente. Et Valentin <rire> et Sébastien, vous êtes des solistes d'orchestre. Si vous devez jouer en la, vous utiliserez cette clarinette pour... de bah, temps en temps Effectivement, peut-être qu'on peut réfléchir à un nouvel usage euh, d'une clarinette en si bémol avec cette, euh, ce nouveau euh, mi bémol grave. Donc ça va peut-être venir euh, rebattre un petit peu les, les cartes et puis notre relation à certains répertoires, certaines œuvres. Donc c'est pas inintéressant euh, comme démarche et puis je souscris un peu à ce qu'a dit Sébastien avec euh, vraiment une sensation de son euh, dans le grave, euh, voilà quelque chose de très chaleureux, très concentré, euh, peut-être euh, auquel on n'est pas tout à fait euh, habitué. Le futur, la révolution, voilà. magnifique. Merci messieurs, let's go Bonjour Ronald Bonjour, César, Hola. Clemencio, Hola, Hola. comment est-ce Oui, bien. bien. Some words like other artists before you. Hola, pues fantástico. La verdad es que he estado probándolo ahora y me sorprende el sonido que tiene, espontáneo, tiene una resonancia especial, diferente, diferente mucho a, a lo que estábamos acostumbrados. Y lo que nos ha sorprendido a todos es el tubo, que es mucho más largo. Y a mí me recuerda muchísimo al clarinete Full Bohem, que tocábamos hace 30 años, de, de, de Full Bohem, ahora sí que yo, yo toqué. Y no, me, me suena muy, muy curioso el mi bemol, grave, súper interesante para tocar algunas de las partituras en el repertorio español. Tenemos muchas partituras con esta, con esta nota, incluso las óperas, y es fantástico. En fin, un instrumento a tener en cuenta. Un instrumento mucho a tener en cuenta. Muchas gracias, Felicio. Bueno, pues en, en mi opinión, creo que... Eh, pues ha sido una muy bonita experiencia tener la oportunidad de probar este nuevo modelo 
BC21, eh, eh, yo eh, percibo que la revolución que Buffet trata de conseguir con, con este modelo y, y viendo también la, las experiencias que han, han comentado los compañeros, mi, mi apreciación es que eh, tiene ese potencial de poder explorar con el instrumento tus sí. eh, eh, mejoras a nivel de creación sonora, de resonancia, es muy estable, muy equilibrado, con un sonido denso y eh, pues no puedo estar más que contento y oh. eh, felicitar a Buffet Campon gracias, por la nueva. Ronald, quelques mots. Voilà, alors moi, je, je pense que tout a déjà été dit, ou presque. Tout a été dit. Et euh, je, moi, ce que je voudrais dire, c'est que ça fait toujours plaisir, évidemment, qu'un facteur d'instrument prenne soin des, des artistes. Et euh, je pense que cet instrument en est la preuve. Il y a eu beaucoup de recherches qui ont été effectuées. Et euh, moi, je le sens directement quand je joue dans l'instrument. Je me sens beaucoup plus à l'aise, non seulement au, au niveau de d'une clarinette plus homogène, mais aussi de toutes les nouveautés, le, le mi bémol grave, le si bémol grave. Enfin, je ne vais pas vous refaire le même discours que non. tout le monde, mais merci Buffet Crampon. Merci Ronald. C'est très sympa. Merci. Nous voilà dans une autre pièce, une autre room at the factory, the finishing for the bass clarinet, but we have uh, Arthur, Didier et Vincent. Vincent knows this room because he He's working some time here. Your comments about that? Uh... Um, I find this really interesting. I mean, I play Legend usually, and I really, really enjoy my instrument, but this one allows some, mm. a lot of new possibilities, like musically and about the colors of the instruments. I guess it's a really nice opening to some other way of playing with this really other sound and with the really low register, which is really, really, Interesting. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to, to have some concerts with this instrument and to have some some musical experiences with it. Okay. Yeah. Merci, Arthur. Nous nous demandions comment une maison comme Buffet Crampon, avec déjà un choix de modèles incroyable, pouvait encore faire une révolution. Eh bien, il suffit de l'essayer pour comprendre que les limites ont été repoussées beaucoup plus loin et que on a avec cette BC 21, un instrument absolument exceptionnel qui repousse les limites euh, au-delà de ce qu'on pouvait imaginer. Okay. Thank you, Lydie. Vincent, in well, French, in English, in French. In French. Sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> voilà, moi je voulais aussi euh, féliciter Buffet Crampon parce que je trouve que c'est un pari vraiment très, très osé et c'est réussi. Voilà, je la trouve fantastique cette clarinette. Moi, quand je, je souffle dedans, je J'adore la sensation, je trouve qu'on justement il n'y a pas beaucoup d'efforts à faire. Je trouve ça je, assez génial d'avoir eu l'idée de, de, de ce mi bémol grave qui permet effectivement, comme Martine l'a dit, d'avoir un, un troisième, une troisième possibilité du, du si bémol et donc de nouvelles possibilités expressives pour aborder le répertoire qu'on connaît tous. Tous les clarinettistes qui, qui sont ici connaissent le répertoire bien et ça permet voilà, de, de pouvoir justement un peu varier par rapport au, au, à ce qu'on connaissait un petit peu dans, dans, dans l'enchaînement des doigtés. Et puis je trouve que vraiment, le, au niveau facture, elle est, elle est fantastique cette clarinette. C'est très intéressant de voilà, l'avoir de élaboré de manière... Euh, voilà, C'est esthétique. Usine. Voilà, voilà, tout à fait. Voilà. Merci. Donc bravo Buffet Crampon. Merci. Merci. Mesdames, Echesu, Eva, in English English, of course. OK. If you want Turkish. Turkish, no, also. in English. <laughs> I'm so excited to learn from the instrument first time. It's really a huge development I see, and I'm really excited to play on the orchestra, but as an orchestra, a opera orchestra musician, it's so important to play sometimes in opera pit, uh, to transposing the A clarinet part on the B flat, and this instrument gives this opportunity to the orchestra musicians, and the sound is limitless, I can say, and the huge resonation without a limit, what I really love. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so soon. much. Eva, quelques mots? Mm -hmm. I, I can do it in English if you want. <laughs> okay, in English. Uh, well, I was really excited to try it because what I thought it would sound a little bit more like an A clarinet, but it's really easy to play a lot like a B flat clarinet with but so much more you can do with it. With the new notes, but everything is easy to play, it's lighter. You can discover so many new things. Okay, thank you, Eva. <laughs> Gabor. So the last, the last couple of years, uh, Buffet Crampon showed us the new 
family of instruments, the Tosca, Legend, and Divian. And uh, this is a completely new instrument. This has all the features of this company, which 190 something years development and knowledge together. So this is absolutely amazing. And it's like a brand new milestone in the clarinet making history. So thank you very much and congratulations. And the instrument is just amazingly beautiful, comfortable, and offers us limitless possibilities. Thank you, Gabor. Thank you. Okay, let's go to, to see the last clarinetist player in the factory. Okay, you come, you come with me, we are in the factory around the, the different rooms, the finishing room for the bass clarinet, for the, the double reed instruments also. We have an uh, English horn in this room, uh, oboe also. And just arrive uh, with uh, Vincenzo and Monica. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour a tutti. Parlo italiano così almeno abbiamo un contatto con tutti gli amici italiani che abbiamo tantissimi amici in Italia di clanettisti. Oggi noi siamo contentissimi di essere qui, questa presentazione, questo strumento molto molto particolare. La, la cosa che, che uno, ogni strumentista cerca è la facilità delle, delle vibrazioni, delle emissioni del suono. Cioè quando con poca fatica si riesce a trovare un suono grande e che non abbia ostacoli, e penso che sia il sogno di ogni strumentista, con poca fatica ottenere il massimo. E secondo me la prima cosa che questo strumento 21, che significherebbe lo strumento del XXI secolo, quindi lo strumento del futuro, e ha centrato in pieno è questa capacità della vibrazione, della facilità di vibrazione. Poi naturalmente... Poi eh... resta étonné, je parle un peu français, oui. par la facilité des missions, avec très peu d'air, tu arrives a jouer des de piano euh, et de, avec une très belle sonorité. Et tout d'abord, euh, la chose qui nous a étonné, c'est la beauté de cet instrument. Magnifique. Okay. Magnifique. Très okay. magnifique, la tonation, le sound, Justesse, et une chose importantissima est le tocco et le style buffet crampon, une élégance que d'autres instruments eh, se la sognent, c'est un peu unique au monde. Okay. Merci, 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 Voilà, nous arrivons dans la, dans la dernière, the last room, the last finishing room with the Sharon et Antonio for the last word of this day about the new model BC21. First, lady. Lady first. Well, I must say um, it makes you smile. You take it to your hands and it makes you smile. And it's, I've seen it happen in the room where we were playing this clarinet. Everybody who was putting it in their mouth, the first thing they did was smile. It's a very friendly instrument. It's very easy to get adjusted to, to play. I'm quite enchanted by it. It has a very personal sound. It's warm and it reminds me a little bit of a, of a German clarinet, but just a little bit. Um, and yes, it's very beautiful. I'm looking forward to getting to know it. Okay, uh, in English, yes. So I think, I'm sure that all my colleagues, they said already, enough about the particularities and the idiosyncrasies of the instrument. I just would like to speak about the, the company. And there are three words that came always to my mind. It's innovation, improvement and accountability. It's something that you can identify very easy by Pufi. This uh, will to change, to bring new things and to, to contribute to diversity. Because um, unfortunately, sometimes on the mondialization, in many ways, has contributed to a, a kind of unifying uh, fashion. So it's fantastic when a factory like Buffet comes with this innovation, improvement, and accountability of almost 200 years history. <laughs> Obrigado. Thank you very much. My old friend, Antonio. <laughs> Donc, we are here also in the finishing room with the different instruments, B flat, A clarinet. And we arrive with uh, Antonio, Roman, Arek, and uh, Javier. Some words in Spanish? Spanish. You prefer Spanish? Yes. Why? You are Spanish? Sorry. Yes. Spanish. Okay, Spanish. speaking. Uh, bueno, he estado esta mañana probándolo muy a fondo y la verdad eh, sorprende mucho, primero por el diseño, es un diseño eh, revolucionario uh, con 
la llave adicional de mi bemol, si bemol, con lo cual tenemos eh, una posibilidad nueva en cuanto a acústica y en cuanto también a, a poder tocar un sonido más. ¿no? Uh, he notado una gran flexibilidad y también una facilidad a la hora de tocar. Clarinete muy homogéneo, un sonido muy, muy rico en armónicos, en fin, muy cómodo, la afinación también, bastante, bastante impresionante. Muchas gracias. Maestro, English, you. Uh, I don't both. mind if you, I can try both at okay. the same time. Spanglish? Okay. <laughs> okay, um, I've been, like my friend Javi, I've been trying this morning this amazing instrument and I have to say that it, it mm, mm, has made me go back to when I was about 15 or 16 years old when I used to play with a 20 keys clarinet and the sound, the feeling is exactly the same, but I have to say something has changed it. I'm talking about the size, the weight and the, the way of moving there inside. Mm. Now I can feel it's much, much easier to move and in general easier to to, uh, to have a nice and good response. It was not exactly like this in that instrument. So I think it's a very interesting uh, development of, of that instrument. And it made me, it made me recall a lot of nice and uh, good things from okay. that moment. Thank you, Antonio. Now some words in maybe in Polish with my friend from Poland. Yes, of course, maybe in Polish. So, first uh, time, Mamy dzisiaj przyjemność trzymać w ręce y, klarnet nowej generacji y, BC Bife Campon y, 21, czyli wiek XXI. Nowa generacja instrumentów. And maybe in English? In English? Okay. Because, uh, so I, I was surprised because I played on, the, on the Elite. Long time ago. Long many, time. Many years ago, many years, yeah. Years, and my first experience was I play on the lead, but the sound is completely different because um, the upper joint is a nice sound, uh, uh, like in regular normal clarinet, yeah. but the lower but joint, the lower joint, is quite uh, it looks like the German sound, mm. and the, in my in my opinion, it's a good idea to to combine this, to 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 play on the on French, combine French and, and German and German sound. Uh, it's totally different, like normal, regular instrument. Yes, of course. It's necessary to, to play. It's a revolution. It's a revolution, yes, yeah. of course. It's, it's necessary to, to, to play a little bit more than, than one hour to, so. to know how to, how to use this instrument. Okay. But it's, it's, it's a really good job, in my opinion, and it looks beautiful. Thank you, Roman. Deep sound and uh, focused sound, so I think it is Really great okay. new edition. Okay. Thank you, Roman. Thank you, Harry. And Thank now, you. the last, uh, but not the least, uh, <laughs> Maria and Florent. Hello. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alors, on va commencer par uh, Maria. Me? English? Yes. 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 Short this is such a powerful instrument. Uh, when we try, I think this is a very, very powerful sound, but at the same time, it has a very elegant, beautiful tone color. And uh, I love the lower B flat key when it's connect with the C, and the color is much more beautiful. And you can choose the different fingering on the, the middle B flat or the lower B f lower B flat, <laughs> and uh, and the middle register is very beautiful. It sounds like a bass at home for me. Okay. And Big creation. Chiché. Chiché. Florent, French, cher Florent. Qu'est-ce que tu penses? Bah moi, c'est pour nos auditeurs en anglais. En anglais, English. English first. So it's a very beautiful instrument. That's my first, uh, first feeling, first impression. The beauty of the sound, and also um, the beauty of the different registers of the instrument. The low register is is very deep and wood, woody, I would say. Uh, yes, some like a um, basal clarinet is very beautiful, and um, the pitch of the left hand is also very, very good. 
And uh, the second register here is very beautiful. You know, I was uh, thinking when Mozart, he, he wrote the uh, clarinet concerto, yeah. he used the different registers of the clarinet like uh, opera characters. Mm -hmm. And here the, the character is very, very beautiful and very special. I like this very much. When you play the second register here, it's very beautiful. Sometimes it reminds me of the basseton, even the yes. basseton. Maybe also the, uh, the kind of German color. Maybe it's the most German of the French clarinets, I would say. Okay. And the, oh, the high register is, is very, very easy and very beautiful, very um, round. So it's, yes, it's a very beautiful instrument. Also, I have the feeling that this is, a, a, of course, a very new clarinet in the, in the Buffet Crampon different right. model. Yeah. And also have the feeling that this is something opening new for the future. It's just it's, it's a, uh, the start for something new. Also, okay. the, the, you see when you, you start to use the long B flat, it's open a lot of, of possibilities for the legato in the repertoire in Brahms or whatever. So wow, it's very exciting, and uh, I love the instrument very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Philippe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and now, dear friends, I would like to to thank all my colleagues Luthier from Buffet Crampon, all uh, Tester, Martine, Michel, Nicolas and Paul for this belle, beautiful uh, clarinet, the new Buffet Crampon BC21. And bye bye everybody, bye bye uh, each country will be with you today. Bye bye. Bravo. <laughs>